Hi everyone, today I'm going to compare Hewlett Packard HP 10B2 Plus versus Casio FC 200V versus Texas Instrument BA2 Plus Financial Calculator. Each question will start after pressing the reset button, and all of the answers are set to be rounded to two decimal places. Disclaimer I am not selling financial calculators, nor do I get any remuneration from calculator manufacturers. I bought this financial calculator with my own money. My video is based solely on answering questions in this video and on my experience in using these calculators. First question, let's explore rates conversion using the following example. Your lender will charge 2% interest rate per month for a period of 12 months. You will pay at the end of the year in a single lump sum for a loan of 10,000 ringgit. What is the effective interest rate you are going to get and how much interest do you need to pay? Second question, let's explore compound time value of money using the following example. Your company estimates that some machine will need to be replaced for the next 10 years at a total cost of 300,000 ringgit. How much does your company need to allocate at the beginning of each month to make this money available? If your company believes that it will receive a minimum return of 5% compounded on semi-annual basis and an upfront investment of 50,000 ringgit today. Third question, let's explore amortization using the following example. 10 years ago, you made 10% down payment and secured a bank loan to help you finance the purchase of your home. The price of your home is 500,000 ringgit. The term of the mortgage is 25 years and the interest rate is 4.25% compounded monthly on the unpaid balance. You decide to pay an extra 500 ringgit per month to pay off the loan yearly starting today. By paying extra today, you can reduce your balance of mortgage payments from 15 years to how many years? Fourth question, let's explore margin and markup using the following example. You are buying one gallon of juice for 10 ringgit and you are selling it for 50 ringgit. What is the profit margin and the markup that you are earning on the juice? Fifth question, let's explore bond using the following example. What is the total cost you are expected to pay on April 28, 2020 if you consider buying a semi-annual bond maturing on June 4, 2040 at a coupon rate of 6.75% redeemable at 100% of the par value with a rate of 4.75% yield to maturity. Calculate the price of the bond and accrued interest in order to determine the total cost of the bond.
Six questions. Let's explore break even using the following example. You try to sell your own ice cream. The ice cream costs you one ringgit and the overhead is three thousand ringgit per month. Your selling price is three ringgit fifty cent and you expect to make a profit of five thousand ringgit every month. Within one month of each year, you plan to give your customers twenty percent discount as a special treat, but you want your profit to stay the same. What is the total amount of ice cream that you need to sell in a year? Seven questions. Let's explore cash flow using the following example. You plan to start a business, and on your proposal, you plan to make an initial investment of ten thousand ringgit. You expect the business will make a loss of four thousand ringgit at the end of the year for the three years, earn six thousand ringgit at the end of the fourth year, and earn eight thousand ringgit at the end of the year for six years. And plus, you believe that you can sell twelve thousand ringgit off in your last earning business. Find your internal rate of return on this proposal. Eight questions. Let's explore statistics using the following example. Your fund A's investment return at the end of each continuous year is 25%, 12%, 10%, 2%, and negative 9%. While your fund B's investment return at the end of each continuous year is 6%, 6%, 7%, 9%, and 12%. If coefficient of variation is used to measure the unit of risk per unit of return, using a sample-based approach, your fund A unit of risk is how much per one unit of return and your fund B's unit of risk is how much per one unit of return.
Nine question. Let's explore forecasting using the following example. You are using commercial video to advertise your product on the social media platform. For the last six months, you have kept a record of the number of minutes per day of advertising that you have purchased and the number of product that you can sell each month. Your minutes per day to advertise of each continuous month is 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 50 minutes, 50 minutes, and 40 minutes. While your sale of each continuous month is 150 units, 100 units, 200 units, 250 50 units, 300 units, and 200 units. Estimate how much sale you will have if you about 80 minutes per day of advertising and how many minutes per day of advertising do you need to buy in order to make 350 sales per month. Ten questions. Let's explore long equation using the following example. Open bracket. One plus root of three of four power of four divided by two power of two. Close bracket. Divide by open bracket. Square root of thirty six. Then minus one. Close bracket. What is the answer? To sum up, in order to decide which one you want to use, you need to consider the capabilities, the functions that the calculator needs to perform, and the ease of operation that the calculator can provide to meet your needs. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video and share it with your loved one. Do subscribe and give your feedback on the comment below. See ya. Assalamualaikum.